Hi, and thanks for watching. Today we start a series of IKEA hacks that will transform our living room into a versatile, multifaceted space. Today, we start with an IKEA curtain hack. This will not only allow us to cover the windows, but also our big screen TV and some wall-mounted storage, also from IKEA, making this a great space for not only hanging out, watching TV, but entertaining, content creation, and just plain relaxing by yourself. But at the same time, it's gonna make it feel a lot larger than it already is. This would work amazingly in smaller spaces to give it a larger, more airy feel. More IKEA hacks are on the way, but for now, it's Caden's for you, you see? Caden's. It's job site Juniper. Whoa. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you can probably see that we are in a bit of job site mode right now. So we're on day two. Fun new news as of the last two months or so. We are a full family of content creators on YouTube, but with four people in one house, it can be challenging to film. This is our family room. Uh, it's obviously where we watch TV, uh, our sofa's here, but the light is fantastic and so it's great for filming. So what we want to do is create a couple of spaces where we can do that. We can just sit down, create, walk away, and it still looks like it's part of a livable space. We are doing this totally DIY. We are going to be doing some IKEA hacks. We are going to be doing some painting. This should be really a fun, interesting project. Uh, my lovely and talented and amazing wife, Angela, has paired up with Amy from Soft Landings to create this space. The link for her and soft landing is in the description. Please go check it out, she is amazing. Uh, so let's just start by taking a look at the space as it was when we first started yesterday. This should be fun, let's have a look. The double-edged sword of having a room this big is that it can sometimes get cluttered. We have a lot of really cool things, but we need to kind of organize those things, get them under control, and we do have a lot of pre-existing furniture from Ikea that we're going to hack to help us out. But first, it's time to clear the way. furniture moved and the holes patched, the last thing that we need to do today is to remove the window coverings. And with the removal of the final pieces of hardware, that's a wrap on day one. Butto. While the goal is to reuse and repurpose as much as we have, we do need to buy a few new things. The custom paint that we're going to use, and some drop cloths so we can cover up some things, paper for the floor, and then some new, fresh rollers and paint accessories. Yeah, if you want to bring the ladder over. All of this 
commotion has got our kitty Juniper pretty curious about what's going on. We were able to get our third cone of paint on by the time night fell, which is going to keep us on track for the next day. This involved a trip to Ikea to get a few more supplies for the project, so clinging tightly to each other, we bravely headed into the labyrinth that is Ikea. Fortunately, Angela had done some research, and when we made our way to the curtain department, we found exactly what we needed in short order. One of these and seven of these? Yep. Okay. We're going to save 5% now by becoming a member. And that's what I'm doing. And no trip to Ikea is complete without us. Hello. Hi. Are we ordering? <laughs> I do. Do you want to see what's in the cart already? Bing. Wiener cheers. Okay. Back again at the Home Depot. Yay! And one more trip to Home Depot to pick up some supplies for our other projects, including this three quarter inch piece of plywood, which is gonna be used in some of our other IKEA hacks. So stay tuned for those coming up shortly. Today's trip, though, was to find the trim for the outside of our curtains that we're going to be hanging. Angela found this beautiful egg and dot pattern, and it's perfect for the job. It's time to start working on the curtains and the shelf right now. I'm wondering where my little job site kitty's at. One of the things that we like to do is have dance parties. This is a nice big room. It's got the vaulted ceiling. The turntables are right here. With a singular curtain, we can go ahead and close off the windows. We can cover the TV, and this wall will just be a blank wall. So that's gonna be our next step. And it also turns out it's gonna be the first in our IKEA hacks. So the original design was that we have a two by four with a cleat. What came about is that we have these picture hanging rails from IKEA. We hang the track in here, the curtains here, and then trim piece right here to cover the curtains. It doesn't quite work in this manner, so Angela suggested we just hang it as a shelf. We have a built-in lip, we can put things on it, and then that also allows us to move the track out farther so that it won't interfere with the TV. It's still not quite deep enough, so I am going to have to put a shim on it. That's going to consist of two by fours, giving us about an inch and a half extra off of the wall. So the first order of business is to put the two by four ledger on here and then we'll mount these. Let's do it. So the first thing I wanna do is measure out where the studs are in the wall so that I can securely mount the two by four ledger. Next, I pre-drill holes into the two by fours at the side of the studs to make it easier for the screws to pass through. If you're lucky like me, you get to have your best friend side by side the whole way. We were able to mount the ledger and get two coats of paint on it by the time night fell, which cleared the way for the next stage, mounting these picture hanging rails. Once the rails are installed, then we can mount curtain hanging rods, as well as curtains to the bottom side of the rail. This is gonna create one giant curtain that spans the entire length of the wall, giving it a very grand theatrical appearance. For the curtain tracks, we're using the IKEA Vidga series. Now, I personally found this very easy to install. Two screws, basically, you're in there, the track is easy to put in, and you just clip it into place, and it's just super easy. Well, first track is in place, and now it's time for the hanging hardware. So this is starting to get exciting. Getting really close. Oh, this is nice. So we are getting really close to actually hanging the curtains and now there's one other aspect of this and that is the trim on the outside. It's gonna cover up the hardware, the top of the curtain. Angela is priming those right now and then we're gonna to get to painting them so we can install them and get this all done. So let's go check and see how Angela is coming along with the painting of the trim. 
Hello, gorgeous. How are you doing out here with the tram? It looks great. Oh my gosh. Look at how adorable you are in your painting outfit. How many how many projects in this Ben Davis shirt here, oh, do you think? I mean, definitely all of them? before we had kids. Well, it's looking good. I'm gonna pop back in, get the rest of the rails on. Love you. Love you too. And in what appears to be a recurring theme of this project, we were able to get curtain sung by nightfall. Well, the egg and dot trim is painted, dried, and ready to go. Now it's time to trim the edges so that when we butt the pieces up together, the pattern on the trim matches. After that, I pre-drill holes into the trim itself to make mounting easier. 